What could possibly be exciting news for Power World players and fans? We can confirm from Pocket Pair's own words, very cool things are coming very soon. Now, I made a video in speculation to this statement late last night. Well, I actually think this statement and what we might get could indeed come in a few hours from right now. Today, we get into it all. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy this video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more Power World, be sure to subscribe and turn on those post notifications. Okay, so Bucky late last night tweeted out this and it reads, Six weeks since release and Power World has over 250,000 reviews on Steam and over a quarter of a million reviews. Insane. Yes, my friend, that is insane. Still feeling very grateful to all the fans and to those who continue to make such great content and fan art. Some very cool things coming very soon. So I covered this with the impression that these cool things coming very soon could indeed be that new content. I did go on to say I don't feel the game right now on console specifically is in a good enough spot to release new content as uh, you really can't be releasing new things to a game or to a platform where you have players struggling to even play and i still feel that way i feel the game right now isn't in a good enough spot for them to be pushing out new content for players especially on xbox although i know 100 percent people will be uh watching this who play on pc they'll be screaming at their phone screaming at their pc screen uh, thinking the game's in a perfect state yes on pc uh, even for me i haven't had more or less a si i don't think my game throws yet i mean i've got a few base bugs in regards to powers getting stuck this and the other i see uh frame rates drops uh, here there and everywhere but nothing major but on xbox it's a completely different story there's players are lagging out every five or ten minutes some players are losing worlds some people are losing servers i mean yeah although the game may be perfect for you on pc and in fact even for some players on xbox they ain't experiencing any problems there are still a mass majority of players on that console who are suffering but pocket pair as they surely understand the opportunity they have here they understand that a game sold way over 25 million copies they know they have a massive fan and player base. They also definitely know things need to be near perfect for them to drop anything new in regards to new content coming. I truly do believe Pocket Pair right now are working their butts off to fix the issues many players are still having. We also must remember that the game is still early access and the studio isn't a massive one. But with the help of it being an Xbox partner game, I feel things will be soon sorted. Now back to that Bucky tweet. Some cool things coming very soon. Now guys, I actually think new things could be coming sooner than we think. And I say this because I believe there could be possibly a new trailer coming for this game. And you're thinking, when might we be getting this trailer? Well guys, check this out. Xbox tweeted out uh, about their Xbox partner preview event, which is happening mere hours from now, from me making this video. They will showcase new and updates for partner Xbox games. This, for sure, is a perfect place for them to showcase something new in regards to Power World. But the speculation of why this event is the perfect place to showcase this new trailer isn't just based off the fact that Power World is an Xbox partner game. It's the fact that Bucky replied to this tweet with their emoji eyes known as eyes up in other words keep your eyes peeled this to me definitely indicates that something new may be showcased at this xbox show and keep in mind guys we got that roadmap what feels like months back now on the future of power world which you guys are seeing on the screen now i mean the new things they uh, state here are coming we haven't seen anything here besides obviously a few fixes to uh, base building issues but the roadmap it for sure does indicate that they have in place big plans for the future of this game player versus player this in itself is a massive update many many players want to see play and experience myself included raid bosses and game content this for sure is something i personally want to see more info on raid bosses is such a weird thing to state i mean 
I'm brain comprehends it, but it kind of don't at the same time. Why not just write raids? Why not just write new bosses? Which actually, guys, they do state, which we'll talk about in a quick second. But the inclusion of raid here, raid bosses, really does pique my interest massively. They then go on to state Power Arena. PvP for powers. Now, this is actually a feature we saw in trailers way before this game was released. Uh, you're seeing that on screen now. So this has to be something they have completed and ready to incorporate into the game. Obviously, they're just waiting on that big patch. That's what they're doing. Crossplay, cool as we know. Xbox feature improvements, and this is no doubt needed along with those fixes. Server transfers and migrations. I mean, I feel this system will need to be in an absolute perfect state before they introduce this, as I remember a similar thing over on Ark. And I remember losing players myself and dinos due to a bug where when you try to migrate to another server or a part of another cluster, weird things could indeed happen. So this is a feature that can go horribly wrong. So yeah, it needs to be absolute perfect for them to incorporate it. That's for sure. Now, improvements to the building system we have seen over previous patches, but I do want to see new additions to this system, more options for building, more customization, a bigger variety of things we can do with our bases. I mean, this again really excites me because I love building in games like this. So yeah, can't wait. We then see new islands, new pals, new bosses, and new technologies. So I mentioned this on a video yesterday. Uh, the tree we see at the top of that map, which many people have tried to get to, but you can't, it's blocked off. We actually can, you can glitch to it, but yeah, it's an area you shouldn't be able to go to. People believe and have speculated that this is actually the center of the map. That tree you see is the center of the map and the surrounding three other areas that we can't go to are as big as the area we have now, as big as the map we have now. So the new islands here kind of makes sense if this is the case. Now, new powers we know is going to be massive too. We already know of three data mine powers in regards to Dragostophy, a Bolt Main, and a Dark Mutant. But there are also other powers we saw in earlier trailers which haven't made an appearance yet. But I would expect them to add more than a few powers uh, into the game if they do open up new islands and things like this. I'd expect quite a bunch of new powers, which obviously we'd all welcome. Now, new bosses here, I believe, will be new tower bosses. Again, we saw at least one tower boss in previous trailers, not in the game now. And then, guys, we have new technologies. This, in my opinion, falls in line with new powers in regards to saddles. And hopefully, we also see new types of armors, weapons, spheres are in the, uh, the game files that are not in the game. There's many other things that are in the game files that are not in the game yet as well. And there's also things we saw in the earlier trailers that are not in the game. Even vehicles, two people. Imagine this. Forget a glider, equip a vehicle. How awesome would that be? But yes, guys, if anything does happen at this Xbox event, I'll for sure have you covered right here on my channel, as I normally do. I have noticed, uh, I think there's only like me and Loaded Crisis still covering this game. All the other creators have vanished with the views they seeked and used this game for. I'm here for the long run, people, and I'm pretty sure Loaded Crisis is too. You ain't getting rid of us that easy, people. But on that note, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more Power World, be sure to subscribe and hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.